camera going? The camera's going. And you're smiling. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy you're here. Grace Helbig, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Hello, guys. My name is Grace Helbig. Hello, and welcome to this video. Hello. 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 You're kind of an original OG YouTube star. I'm in the first, I think, couple waves. I started in the entertainment world auditioning for TV and film and commercials in New York and was making web videos as a hobby and then realized, you know, I, I was doing improv comedy as well, that it's really difficult to get people to physically show up to an improv theater and watch you do comedy, but it's a lot easier to get people to watch your comedy in the comfort of their own homes. If having a lamp that looks like a scrotum with an unknown disease doesn't make me a better person, I don't know what will. Do you feel like you have to offer up something that's darker or quirkier to get people to watch? No, not necessarily. I think I have to be myself because the audience, um, part of my French, can smell bull yeah. very easily. Is that French? I don't, I'm, maybe, perhaps, who knows? It's, it's, a, but it's a funny thing people say, right? Yeah, it's a perfume by Yves Saint Laurent. Bull <laughs> but you just, by the way, I think it's very cute that you've named yourself after my dog, Gracie. It's really, I really mean, sweet. It's a high honor for her. I was telling you before we started, Gracie is my icon. When I was auditioning for TV and film in New York and sitting in the back of taxi cabs, I was watching you and Gracie interview people. And oh my god, that dog is fantastic. She's something else, right? I, I mean, know. It was nice of you to change your name. Your her real name was Griselda, and yeah. she changed it to Gracie mm -hmm. just after the dog. I'm a team player. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't go out on New Year's and siren. On your channel, you don't leave anything to the imagination. You tell everyone everything, you share everything, and you do skits and sketches. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have a day where you're like, I, don't want, I just don't want to post my day today. I just would like to oh, keep yeah. it to myself. The cool thing about the internet is that you, ha you can be yourself. I use it as content. If I talk to people about my frustrations creatively or the fact that I don't feel like posting, that becomes the conversation. You can get away on the internet with having mundane content because that's how you exist in real life. Care to see that I just shit my pants? It's pretty incredible. And many of your two million plus fans, followers, subscribers want to hear the mundane, do you think? Or I think, yeah, I think it's relatable. I think it's what makes you human, is that we can't be on all the time. God bless, I mean, good luck. Exhausting, right? <laughs> Very exhausting. How has your humor evolved as your marketplace has grown? You've got a book out, you're doing other shows. So how have you refined or changed your humor? That's been kind of one of the interesting parts on the internet is that the audience hates change, but you're a human being, so there is going to be a natural evolution of your point of view on the world, which is what informs your comedy. So you do grow and change, and you hope that the audience grows with you. Uh, and I do think that my comedy has grown and evolved because the audience has grown. Is it bodier? Is it more intellectual? Is it? I think it's far less intellectual. Um, a lot more fart sound effects and star wipes uh, have been included. <laughs> yeah, 2016. It's all dingalings. Too many dingalings. So, have you gone from someone who was striving to be an entertainer to someone who feels the responsibility of communicating oh, something God. important? I know. People throw around the word role model way too easily. <laughs> I definitely don't think that I'm capable of being a good oh, role model. stop it. I mean, I, I'm wearing clothes, and I drove my car by myself today. So a I girl? Think, thank you, yeah. It's a role model. So I think that's... Not for nudists. I know, I know. And I also want to be like, you can do whatever you want. So I'm a very passive role model. I wrote another book. <laughs> Tell me about the book. Grace and style, the art of pretending you have it. Is a tongue-in-cheek style guide because I am wildly fascinated about the world of like beauty and fashion, but I don't think I am someone that will excel in that area. But I think Why it's- Why do you say I'm, that? I try hard, and that's half the battle of fashion and beauty, is trying really hard. Um, the other half is like execution, whether the trying actually pays off. If I get your book, am I just gonna laugh at myself a lot or am I gonna actually learn something about becoming more stylish? I do try and give genuine advice based on things that have actually helped me. Okay, hit me, give me some advice. Um, deodorant is a great tool when you can't shower. 
Uh, oh, wait, over the stink? Yeah, I've used deodorant as perfume so many times. How's that working out for you? I mean, no one has said anything, whether they're silently on some like blog forum having conversations about it. Or they passed out to the moment you with. Who knows? Bye -bye. I leave a I leave a one more. Grace's style, the art of pretending you have it, is now available for pre-sale. If you go to gracestylebook.com, gracestylebook.com. Listen, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank I you think your style me. is fantastic, and I do want to offer up a big cheers. You are killing it in the world of comedy, and I love seeing another natural blonde, uh, you know, out there mm -hmm. doing her thing and yep. getting all those viewers. So congrats. Thank you. Sister.